Hello everyone, welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about do while loop in Dart. So, looping is used to perform a repetitive task. If you want to repeat something in programming, then you can use loop. Let's talk about do while loop. We already studied about um, for loop, while loop, and for each loop, for in loop in our previous section. If you have any question regarding loop, then you can also go to our previous section and uh, you can read the content watch video. Do I loop is used to uh, run a block of code multiple time. Basically loop is used to run a block of code multiple time. The loops body will be executed first. Uh, there is difference uh, in while loop and do while loop. In while loop, the condition is evaluated first. But in do while loop, the body is executed first before checking the condition. Condition is checked at first in while loop but in do while loop first statement is executed then at the end condition is written okay this is the nature of do while loop if you have false condition then while loop don't run it for loop don't run it but do while loop run it for one time okay i will share you a practical demo here you can see syntax of do while loop just you need to write do and uh, you need to write your statements you can write any number of statements and just you need to write while condition and at the end you need to write semicolon this is the syntax for do while loop okay here you can see first it runs the statement and then finally the condition is checked if the condition is true the code inside uh, curly bracket is executed this means this one executed and the condition is rechecked until the condition is false okay this condition is rechecked again and again when the condition is false the loop stops okay uh, in do while loop the statement will executed uh, at least one time even the condition is false it is because statement is executed before checking the condition okay in other loop first uh, task is to check the condition but do while loop does not do that okay okay let's print 1 to 10 using uh, i will print 1 to 100 let's print 1 to 100 using do while loop okay for that let me write a new file do while do while dot dot okay now let's create our main method and then let's uh declare integer i is equal to basically you can write any variable here i is famous it is popular so i am writing i okay just write for integer sorry we, we are using do while loop just write do and just print i and then just increase the value by one okay we are printing one to hundred and you need to write while and you need to write condition condition is i is less than or equal to 100 okay if i run this program dot do while dot dot okay here you can see it got a uh, number from 1 to 100 got printed in this way you can uh, perform uh, you can print 1 to 100 or you can print the number between any number using do while loop if you want to print 100 to 1 then you just write 100 and just decrement the value and just write i is greater than or equal to 1 okay just write 1 and run the program let me run the program and here you can see 100 to 1 got printed okay 100 99 98 97 in this way at the end 1 okay this is all about uh, do while loop and let's uh, find the sum of n natural number using do while loop okay let's find the sum okay for that i am uh, writing total is equal to integer total is equal to zero integer i is equal to one i am writing here total is equal to total is equal to total plus i and then i plus plus then our condition is i is less than or equal to i'll find sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus up to the 100 okay 
let me print it the total is the total is dollar total okay now let's run the program that's do while the total is one okay here is something wrong okay total is equal to total plus i while i is okay we need to write i is less than or equal to 100 okay here our condition is wrong okay let's run the program here you can see the total is 5050 in this way you can find sum of n natural numbers in uh, that using while do while loop okay this is also very very easy and basically the most popular loop is for loop you can use for loop you can uh, use for loop uh, maximum times okay okay let's uh, see when the condition is false okay let's see if i write uh, okay i'll create a new file false condition okay false condition okay false fork dot that okay okay let me write a main method here and then i am writing integer i is equal to 10 and i will write first write while loop while i is less than 5 just run just print i okay let me run the program okay that false work dot that okay here you can see nothing got printed if i convert this to do i loop then okay i will not uh, change the condition just i will write do here and after the while at the end i need to write semicolon okay and just if i print i if i print i then it will print i one time okay here you can see 10 got printed even if the condition is false you have to be very very careful okay and thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end if you like this video hit the like button and hit the subscribe button also share with your friends I will see you in the next video. If you have any question, comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.